A big series opening victory for UC Baseball, one to nothing over number 24 UConn. Joined now by head coach Scott Guggins, and uh, what a performance from your team tonight. What a performance from JT Perez. Complete game shutout, career high 10 strikeouts. Yeah, you know, we talked about in the pregame, uh, you and I did, just about we needed a good start. And, uh, you know, as a senior, you know, JT's one of our leaders. And, and again, he gave us a great start. And, uh, you know, going into the game, you know, as, as the game unfolded, again, I thought he had a really good command of, of, of everything. And, you know, about the seventh inning, you know, again, I didn't even ask what his pitch count was. I, I just looked at him. I'm like, man, he, this is his game. You know, we're up one nothing, and obviously we wanted to try to extend the lead, but, you know, their guy was really good too. I mean, he, he pitched really well, and it was a really good, just a good baseball game. But about the eighth inning, you know, J.D. looked at me, uh, our coach, our pitching coach, and I said, no, nah, this is his game. And we did have some guys warm up the bullpen, but that was just precautionary because, again, that, that, that was his game. And, and J.T. did an unbelievable job. And that's what you expect out of your seniors. And it was, it was fun to watch. Watch him. Well, we saw uh, three complete games from JT his sophomore season and uh, now getting his first one here in his senior year. Uh, you know, you, you talked about a great performance uh, on the other side from Mason Fioli for UConn, but Manny Rodriguez uh, able to break up that performance with a solo home run, and that was the big difference maker. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because, again, I, I thought, uh, you know, Manny popped that one out, and it was, a you know, a great at bat for him, but I thought, you know, that wasn't going to be the, the only run. Even though, you know, JT was pitching as well as he did, I thought it was gonna, we were going to score a couple more runs or they were going to score a couple, but uh, that's, that's baseball, so. Sometimes. It is, and this was a fun pitcher's duel to watch tonight. We've talked a lot about momentum, winning that final game in the series at UCF. The Xavier win on Wednesday. Now this one against a nationally ranked opponent. It, it seems like this team really kind of started to hit its uh, stride again. I think so, but, you know, again, it's, it's game one. We, we've got two more tough ones. Uh, you know, we got to come back tomorrow uh, ready to play. I'm not being Debbie Downer on that one. It's just, you know, the reality of it is you've got to, got to come out ready to play every day because that's a very good team, and, uh, you know, if we're not ready, they're going to take it to us. Well, the important thing is uh, no matter what else happens tonight, uh, you're still in first place and uh, we'll back, be back out here tomorrow. Chance to win the series. Yep, appreciate it, Matt. Thanks. All right, let's head coach Scott Guggen. Cincinnati defeats number 24 UConn one to nothing here on Friday night. A career performance from JT Perez, a complete game shutout, and a career-high 10 strikeouts. Uh, just take us through your night because it looked like just about everything was working for you. Yeah, it felt good on the mound. I uh, just had a real good connection with Joe. Um, everything was working well, and, uh, you know, it felt good. You know, I think one thing we overlook a lot with pitching is fielding the position. That's something you demonstrated tonight as well. A couple nice grabs. You had the one where you knocked it down to, to throw it out to first. But obviously that's something you put a lot of emphasis on. Yeah, uh, I've thrown my share of balls away this season, so I'm uh, really trying to crack down on that. Um, but the defense played well as well. So Another good start from you. Uh, this staff has been really going well here in conference play. It seems like once you kind of turn the calendar to April, everybody kind of putting forth these quality starts. It seems like you guys are really kind of hitting that midseason stride. Absolutely. That was such a team win um, just because, you know, looking back to – even Wednesday, we won, I think, 10 to 7. And uh, that just that just means everybody's working together as a team. You know, sometimes you have hitting, sometimes you have pitching. But when you can find a way to dig deep and win these type of games, especially on Friday nights, it's huge. Always great when you can uh, open up a series against the nationally ranked team with a victory. Uh, you guys did that tonight. We'll see you back out here tomorrow. Thank you. All right, that's JT Perez, a career high tonight with 10 strikeouts.